Some scams are as old as time itself. Technology and security may move on. Let's ditch the accents, shall we? From portcullises and vats of boiling oil to cryptographically secure decentralized networks, there is, of course, a modern equivalent to ladders and rope. And for that, we can turn our BDI to blind signing, a legitimate process in many crypto transactions, but also one of the main attack vectors in modern crypto's scammer and damnly ding dong. And what exactly is it? How do you know when a scam may be lurking? When should you blind sign? And when should you exercise? Go on. Caution. Blind man, took my phone, innit? Well, hang on to your chainmail because we're going on a wild ride into not so medieval skullduggery. Yes, welcome to School of Block. And if you enjoy helping us help you find financial freedom, then how about a like and a subscribe? The algo feeds us and it helps us feed you like a mother bird, only with more crypto. DApps and DeFi, introduced back in episode 13, if you're wondering, have brought an unprecedented level of freedom to your financial possibilities. Ah, oh, yes. But unfortunately, that freedom does come at a price. <sighs> yes, I keep my money in my sweater. And that's because the new technology has brought new vulnerabilities for scammers to leverage and new responsibilities for you when it comes to keeping your crypto safe. It all stems from the smart contracts used in present day dApps and NFTs. Look at that. So smart. And they pose a challenge for the current generation of crypto wallets because their code containing key contract details cannot be fully extracted and displayed. Thus, users sign without knowing what it is that they are signing. Imagine signing a rental contract for an apartment blindfolded or not reading the terms and conditions before clicking accept when you've got a new electronic device. One of these you might be more likely to do than the other, but when the contract you're signing manages your money, it pays to be prudent. We are of course talking about blind signing, something that you'll come across in crypto as soon as you start exploring the NFT and DApp space. It's actually the industry standard, so it's not bad per se, you just need to exercise judgment and good practice. The problem is a computer's screen can't always be trusted, and even if the software wallet shows a message, this could be compromised. So here's a typical scenario. I want to swap some ETH for USDT. So we're going to use Paraswap to do that. First thing I'm going to do is connect my wallet. Metamask, yes, there we go. So now my wallet is connected, all very simple. I'm going to just go ahead and do the swap. So now I hit swap. It gives me the details of what I'm going to do. I check everything. That all looks good. I confirm the order. And now my wallet will pop up with a transaction that I need to sign. Now, this is the thing. This website looks legit, but I actually have no idea whether this website really is legit or not. Now, I know that paraswap.io is the correct address for this website, but there are any number of things that can happen in between this and this moment that I confirm the transaction. Now, the thing is, in blockchain, code is law. So if I say, yes, I'm confirming the transaction, that is basically me saying, I have read all the smart contracts, I have looked at what I am interacting with, and I agree with it, and I'm okay with that. Do any of us actually do that? No. Is there any information in Metamask here about the smart contract? No. So I can click confirm here, and I'm effectively blind. That doesn't mean it's unsafe, because this is the way that we interact with smart contracts most of the time, but it does mean we are blind. And that's what we mean by blind signing using a hot wallet. The solution is a hardware wallet, as the trusted display on the wallet itself can't be got at. But most hardware wallets use middlewares, such as Metamask or Wallet Connect, and others to access the dApps you're trying to use. Although these middlewares can help, sometimes, understand the contract data. The hardware wallet displays its content in its raw form. So a hexadecimal figure like 123A, F, E, etc, etc. So even if a hardware wallet screen enjoys what we call a trusted display, the information here 
can be trusted, but it can't be easily verified. And hence, even if you can verify the content of your transaction, because it's so cryptic, you end up blind signing, even if you are using a hardware wallet. Looks ridiculous, right? You'd never fall for that, would you? So how do these scams work? Well, it's not just crypto noobs who get targeted. A couple of well-known crypto junkies recently got taken to the cleaners. And that's because blind signing has two elements, the technology and you. And that's why your own judgment has never been so crucial. Both Jeff Nicholas and Saurabh Faroudi got taken in by scammers on the Discord channel for major NFT marketplace OpenSea. These scammers had somehow mimicked the usernames of the OpenSea founders and directed Jeff and Nicholas to a place where they then revealed the MetaMask QR code in their browser extension, which is essentially the same as giving out your seed phrase. Big, big mistake. In Jeff's case, despite the fact he had a hardware wallet, the scammers persuaded him to blind sign a series of transactions after they got to his ultimate QR code in order to transfer some of his precious NFTs. God damn you all to hell! And this is the key lesson. With crypto bursting into the mainstream, more and more people are now becoming educated about how to keep their assets secure. And there are fewer opportunities for scanners to gain access to your assets. Someone at the door. I wonder who that can be. Hello. <laughs> Damn it! So instead of trying to break the door open, they're relying on you to open it for them, like Muggins here, by tricking you into blind signing. Sorob documents the whole sorry saga on Twitter. Jeff, it seems, was too gutted to be quite as detailed, and can you blame him? By all means, have a read in your own time. It's a pretty toe-curling sequence of events that might help you avoid something similar yourself. Now, how do I talk to you about getting these locks changed, eh? Eh? Damn it! Ledger's solution is to integrate dApps directly in their app catalog on Ledger Live in order to make sure the tech is compatible and there's no blind signing. Instead, there's what they call clear signing, where a transaction in Ledger Live via Paraswap, for instance, is displayed clearly on the trusted display showing all the transaction details. So this helps you practice one of the key messages for keeping yourself safe, don't trust, but verify. And this phrase was made popular by, of all people, President Reagan in the 1980s during the Cold War, referring to the information the Americans had about the size of the opposing nuclear arsenal. But it absolutely applies to transactions in crypto too. So let's take a look at how clear signing works when using a Ledger hardware wallet to verify. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same transaction idea, but using the Nano X. So there are two different ways you can use Ledger. In the past, you would be able to use MetaMask in conjunction with your Ledger. And by doing that, yes, you can interact with dApps directly from your Ledger through MetaMask. But when it came to actually signing a transaction, there will be a moment where you would see an icon on here which says data present with a, a warning sign, but it wouldn't be able to do anything more than that. And that is because MetaMask or whichever software you're using acts as an intermediary and it can't actually read the smart contract details directly. So it can't transmit any information to the device. That's blind signing. Even if you're actually using a ledger, still blind signing. So what Ledger have done now is they've integrated apps into Ledger Live, which is a ring-fenced environment, which is safe. And the apps that have been integrated in there, but there's lots more coming along all the time, um, have been thoroughly audited and are safe to use. And I mean that, they actually are safe to use. So what we can do is when we open Ledger Live, well, actually the first thing we should do when we open Ledger Live is turn on dark mode. So we go to the theme, switch on dark mode. Oh yeah, that's better. So what we want to do now is go to the Discover tab, which is here. And we're going to go down to Parasol. But you can see here there's a bunch of other apps. There's a ton more coming. It's an open API. Ledger is open for business. If you want to integrate with Ledger, very straightforward. There's a little uh, tab down here for developers. You can go to the portal and see exactly how to do that. Uh, there's not that many apps at the moment, and that's because they're trying to make sure that only the very best apps and the safest apps are on there, but it's going to explode very, very soon. So we can click on Paraswap, and here we have my wallet represented directly in Paraswap. So that's going to allow me to tr to swap from ETH to USDT the way I did before. So here's what's going to happen. Exactly the same as before. 
I want to pay 0.01 ETH and receive 44 USDT. It's a terrible trade given the way the fees are at the moment, but we'll just go ahead and do that. So I can review what's going on here, the transaction fees. <laughs> $149 wild to receive $42. Anyway, we're not actually going to finalize the transaction, so it doesn't matter. Then I will confirm the order. And now when I click continue, I will have an opportunity to review the data directly on my ledger. So now this is called clear signing because the ledger can read the smart contract can read what the app is asking it to do and give you that information directly on the device in human readable English. So if I go through now, go into Paraswap, and now I'm in the app on the Ledger Live, I can see, yes, confirm I want to send 0.01 ETH. I'm going to receive the minimum of 43 USDT, max fees, there we go. And then I can accept and send. So I can actually review the entire contract process on the ledger itself, which would not have been possible going with the MetaMask integration. So Paraswap is an, an app that's been integrated into Ledger Live, and with that comes ClearSign. This is a massive update for Ledger Live, and it's gonna allow you to get much more confidence when it comes to interacting with apps and making sure that what you actually wanna do is what you wanna do. Here are some simple rules of thumb to keep yourself safe. For those times when you need to blind sign through an intermediary wallet, you need to mitigate your risk. First up, don't use dApps that you've never heard of before. Always double check authenticity. NFT drop website you've never heard of before. Wah! Whoa! Whoa there, Leslie. Temper that FOMO and do some due diligence. Next, and this is massive. Be very skeptical of DMs on social media. If someone you don't know is actively reaching out to you, consider the reasons why. Remember, it could be anyone, so don't click on any links they send you no matter how much free Bitcoin they're promising or help they're promising either. Third, always keep your, hang on, oh yeah, your keys isolated by using a hardware wallet, no matter what type of transaction you're doing. This isn't gonna work, come on. Using something like a Ledger Nano adds a layer of security to all of your interactions. And finally, should we need to say it again? Never disclose your recovery phrase to anyone. Save it on a device connected to the internet or enter it into a software wallet. Keep it written down on paper somewhere safe. You won't forget it. That's it. What do we want? Safe keys. When do we want it? Now. So, at Ledger, the team is trying to make the process better. In their ever-expanding app catalog on Ledger Live, there's no need to blind sign. You can verify each and every transaction and know exactly what is happening to your tokens. This clear signing is a recent innovation and one that is incredibly necessary. Indeed, it is the future. But until it's everywhere, you kind of need to be careful out there. With financial freedom does come great responsibility. And no matter how advanced your wallet is, you are the last line of defense for your crypto assets. So always be on the lookout for... Get out. Bandits like that trying to throw that ladder over your battlements or even just asking you nicely to open the front door, which may well be more likely. So be smart, be careful. And that horse right there is just gagging to be ridden off into the sunset. You've been watching School of Blog presented by Ledger and The Defined. Demystifying decentralization one clippity clop at a time. Don't forget to subscribe, drop us a like if that's what you're into. And as always, hi -o Silver for your financial freedom. Come on. Come on. Whoa!